Hi, I'm Paul Becker. I'm Jacob Blasboer. And this is our CPM final project. We elected the Chiefs and Day Chiefs due to both of us really liking the Kansas City Chiefs NFL football team. Um, according to RS means, we were able to come up with a location adjustment factor, and we used a time factor, a lot size factor, and a building size factor to come up with our alternative location costs in Oklahoma City, from in Dallas, and in St. Louis. So as you can see from this graph, uh, our original cost in Oklahoma City was about $3.2 million. And after we ran all of our uh, adjustment factors, our 2023 Dallas cost came out to about $4.6 million. And then in 2024, our St. Louis cost came out to about $3.6 million. And to adjust for the lot size, which was the one that was different than the rest, than seen in class, we just divided by our original OKC acreage, or our, same, our new acreage divided by 100 that lot size of Oklahoma City. Um, so our work breakdown schedule, we divided our work breakdown schedule into six different parts, the project management, site work, on-site utilities, maintenance building A, maintenance building B, and procurements. We basically did this by taking those main activities and placing each of the work packages within them and other subcategories. So for project management, as you can see here, it includes such stuff as project notice, development work team, form project team, design constructor work, in-house design work, design briefing meeting, and the final inspection and approval. Similar for the site work, the only thing is it has some subcategories of grading, paving, and landscaping. Then for our on-site utilities, it has the subcategories of stormwater, anti sewer, underground electricity, natural gas, and uh, the utility design review. All those have the work packages underneath them. Similarly to set up for maintenance building A with architecture, structural, electrical, plumbing, heating, and air, and as the main packages within and further down to work packages. Similarly, set up for maintenance building B, so on to our procurements, which is just the crane, elevator, and construction bids, and their setup, probably similar to everyone else's. Here in part four, we have our activity on node diagram. Uh, we produced this in Microsoft Project. Um, due to it being very large, we decided to cut it up into seven different parts. We uh, are highlighted a uh, critical path is in red. Kind of goes all over the place there. Um, we can start at, right here at the top uh, where we started off with project notice approval and. And we can head down here where we have in-house design work. And then here we hit um, our floor plan building A, floor plan, uh, or mechanical electric building A, foundation building A. You know, all, it hits all that. And then here is the building A design review. And we go up, we hit <coughs> project, design complete. Um, and we have the contractor's bid, um, maintenance building A, another bid line for that one. And then on the bottom, we have the foundation and structural building A, the plumbing of building A, and architectural finishes of building A. See that building A fell on the critical path the whole way, so this construction matters most to the project completion. Yeah, now we finished here on final inspection approval on uh, March 3rd, 2021. So we developed two histograms of our early schedule and late schedule, weekly cost and open cumulative cost. Here we see the early schedule with the graph kind of built up heavily in the middle of those heavy projects. And we move on to our late cost with it more evenly kind of distributed out uh, as gradual offsets.
offset just a little bit compared to it. And then we move on to our um, cost versus time graph to form our target curve, which fell directly in the middle there in the orange, I guess, compared to our early start and the cumulative um, graphs and curves. And here's our resource allocation. Is due to our limit of only 30 workers, uh, on our, we, had, uh, we had our first finish date of March 31st. Um, up there, our first graph. So we can see we all this red means we were over 30 workers to finish it by March 31st. So we had to spread it out a little bit, and we spread it out to about May 5th. We were able to get all under the 30 workers and be under the 30 worker limit. And then for the scheduling and budget performance, so the actual cost of um, the project was about two uh, million, yeah, two million, but we budgeted about 2.3 million. And then because that's greater, the project is currently under budget budget at October 31st of 2020. You can see from our first graph here, how things are follow pretty close to each other throughout the whole project up to this certain date. And, but currently you can see from the next one, how our performance is shown with the SV less than zero, the project is currently behind schedule, and the CV greater than zero, the project is also under budget on October 31st of 2020. Thank you guys for watching and go Jeez. folks.